morning YouTube. Right, so, a little update on the car. We've decided to put some new wheels on it. Um, two reasons why I've gone for the wheels I've gone for. Um, firstly, the price of them, they're almost disposable. Um, I'll put a link to what wheels that I actually purchased and the price there. Um, and everything in that link. Uh, secondly, the weight of these wheels. These weight of these wheels, they're, uh, they're 9.2 kilos a piece. Uh, stock wheels being, of the FN2, stock wheels being 11.8. So they're like 2.6 kg a wheel less. And rotational mass, it's rotational and unsprung, that it will make a big difference on the road. Um, we've got a spacer to take off as well because we've got a wider offset wheel. Uh, we've gone for ET35, so they're going to be poking quite a bit, I imagine, quite a bit. Uh, stock rims are ET55, and I've got a 15mm spacer on there, so they're equivalent to about an ET40 at the moment or something like that. So, ET35, about a 20mm spacer that'll be equivalent to. We've gone for 8J, um, simply because we wanted a slightly wider wheel. Uh, for a bit of a wider track, uh, but we'd all got if the 225 tyres that I'm going to put on it are any good and clear, absolutely fine. We will eventually upgrade to 235 45 18 tyres, and uh, we can get the Michelin Pilot Sport um, Pilot Super or Pilot Sport 4S, the, the, the good ones, the ultra ultra good ones, like the semi track spec ones. That's what my plan will be for the future with these. Um, as I say, they're cheap. Uh, they're a sort of a, uh, a T37 Volx copy, if you like. Um, they're actually made by Ultralight. So, being sort of matte bronze and whatever, um, a hell of a lot easier to keep clean. I mean, with, with the big brake kit that you've seen that I've got on here, uh, and the, uh, the, the race pads all the way around, white wheels is not the way forward. Uh, within sort of 15 miles, they need a wash again, and it is driving me mental. So, uh, yeah, we're getting those off. We're going to put these matte bronze, um, they're called the UL 37s, uh, not the TE 37s, like the Vox ones I just described. Uh, they're reps, so UE 37s, um, and we'll. Uh, We'll see how we go. So we'll get some footage as soon as they arrive. They should be here any minute. And uh, yeah, hit you back shortly. Yeah, boy. <laughs> and you, hello. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. <laughs> box fresh. Box fresh. Box fresh. Box fresh. Box fresh. Do 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 do. Right. See what these are like. Do you know that's just sick? That is just sick. In in a, like a, a, a low low light. It's just it's so dark. Yeah, I love it. I don't know if you're catching that sheen, but we're inside at the moment. There's like a yeah, it's like, almost like gunmetal grey with like a, a a tiny gold sheen in it. It's not like goldy bronze. This is this is nicer than the photo. So much nicer than the photo. Right, I want to get these out for natural light. Get this plastic off. Finish is nice. Finish is really nice. Put some cheapies. They are light. They are seriously light. Right, let's get these outside. Let's have a look. And some natural light. Right, natural light. That's just sick, isn't it? That is just sick. So like uh, at night, they're like a gunmetal grey, like in the uh, the artificial light in there, almost like gunmetal grey. Get them out in the light, and yeah. What's the inside like? Not finished too bad, to be honest. They are in there. Nice little centre cap on them. QC passed. Important, 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 important. Can't stress how important that is to see that. Thirty-five. 
Aren't they nice? So, what do we think? I hope everybody, I hope this is coming through on camera as well as these look. Yeah, boy. <laughs> center caps are the center caps are really nice. I didn't think they'd be as nice as this. Wicked, right? I'm gonna get a couple of these TGR nuts to see the uh, how they. Right, see. guys. So this is just a follow up. So yeah, I've got these ultralight wheels. Uh, did about 150 mile on them. Went to Telford, and uh, what can I say? Wow, wow, 150 mile on them. Bear in mind that my white wheels were dirty in 20 miles. Look at them, not been clean since I've been back. They're fantastic. So I had the old tires transferred onto them. Got a set of TGR wheel nuts on them, and they're great. They're absolutely great. I cannot fault them yet. Yet. I know they're budget wheels and whatever but they're so cheap they're disposable if it starts to get damaged or peel or whatever I'll just fucking buy more um what I can say having uh, this got this got if people aren't familiar with this car it's a 400 brake horsepower FN2 um losing the weight of the spacer plus another two and a half kilo on uh, the wheel itself it's noticeable it's very noticeable so now the car wants to accelerate harder uh, the faster you go the faster it feels as weird as that sounds i mean I, I drive this car a lot i know it like the back of my hand like sort of thing now it's faster at speed so like i don't want to incriminate myself here but triple digits it's just going and going and going and um, I've actually done a higher top triple digits in Mexico, yeah, um, than it previously could do just by reducing wheel weight. Uh, around town, the steering's lighter, which is nice, really good, and um, suspension feels more in tune with the road. So, would I recommend these? I would. I seriously would for the price point I really would um, saw a few of this sort of design at the show yesterday in Telford and um, this is perfect the dish on them is slightly bigger than like the uh, the bowler equivalent or the rotor equivalent it's got a lovely dish on it um, I think ET35 with a 8J they normally come like the other, the other brands they'll come in 8.5 and um, the 8J is so much better, ET35 is so much better. You've got a bigger dish on the rim. You catch that there. Look at that dish. Uh, it's, it's, it's not massive, but um, it's bigger than the others. And uh, so yeah, final thoughts. Buy these wheels, honestly, honestly. I mean, as I say, I've only done 150 mile on them. Uh, I don't know what they're going to be like with potholes and uh, speed bumps over time and stuff. And they, I imagine they're easier to bend because they're so lightweight. But so fucking what? So fucking what? If they are, they are. I'll just buy another set. I'll buy them individually as well from Ultralight. Um, so what's not to love? They hide brake dust. They look great. They look great at the show yesterday loads of co cool comments on them and um, they genuinely look more expensive than they are and the tgr wheel nuts they do finish that uh they do finish it off a little bit better they stick out from the wheel as well so you're not going to damage it taking on or off so yeah my little review